Elaine, this is the only level trauma level one center in the region, and five of those shot and injured were brought here uh, today. They're listed of those two are listed in critical but stable condition, two are listed in fair condition, and hospital officials say that uh, one of those brought here, they're still assessing uh, the condition of that patient. Now, after the incident with the black SUV that was shot up, a gun battle of the black SUV uh, that left two suspects dead and one police officer injured, an ambulance raced into the medical center here. Uh, medical personnel held up sheets around that ambulance, uh, blocked it from our view. They won't say who was brought in uh, in that ambulance. As well, when all of this other action was going on, a bomb threat was called into the hospital, and given explosives at other sites here, a suspicion of explosives at other sites, that was taken very seriously. Uh, this is a university teaching hospital. Classes were canceled. Students were told they should go home. There was a thorough search made. Canine units were brought in. In the end, it was decided that this wasn't a credible bomb threat, that everything was safe. However, officials here say that given everything that's gone on today, uh, this facility is remaining on heightened alert. Elaine? Wow, John, that really sounds like a very tense situation there. Amid all that, John, I wonder if you can help us sort of work out the numbers here, because uh, the number that we have is 18 wounded, 14 dead, 18 wounded. You, by my count, mentioned so five people there at Loma Linda University Medical Center. Uh, do we know how many other people are at other facilities that are still high hospitalized tonight. Do we have any information if anyone's been released from the hospital? Yes, we know that others were taken to other uh, area hospitals. We know that only one person so far, we've had confirmed only one person has been released uh, from the hospital. That would leave 17 uh, still being treated at, uh, at area hospitals with, with various uh, injuries. The officials here at Loma Linda have been uh, very careful about giving no specifics about who the patients are exactly what their injuries are. That's been true at the other medical centers as well. And John, you were describing just the tense situation there with a bomb threat that was phoned in, later found out to be uh, you know, unsubstantiated. Um, but what has the atmosphere been like? I realize you're posted there outside the hospital, and you mentioned that uh, after the SUV exchange of gunfire uh, with police and the suspects, uh, when someone came in and was taken in via ambulance, the personnel threw up sheets. Uh, it sounds like a very tense situation. It certainly is a tense situation. I was making my way toward this hospital at the time of that shootout. When that shootout was going on, police cars were racing past me on the freeway. Uh, we arrive here at the hospital, and there's, there's a great deal of concern that there are gunmen out there, uh, perhaps uh, uh, people intent on, on causing more harm. Um, and certainly at the, at the hospital, the uh, a uh, public information officer here at the hospital updating us on the uh, condition of state and the patient's condition here uh, was just asked, you know, what is the what is the feeling in the hospital? Uh, she came close to tears, frankly, mm -hmm. saying that, you know, we read about this happening, but this has happened so close to home. In fact, this has happened at our home and it, it certainly is upsetting. Uh, John, I wonder what else was said at that news conference um, because obviously this is a situation that so oftentimes people who hear about these situations never imagine themselves in these kinds of situations. But as you mentioned, Loma Linda University Medical Center is, uh, if I heard you right, the uh, level one trauma center closest there to San Bernardino, that, to the location there in San Bernardino uh, where the shooting happened. Um, what else was said by the medical personnel as uh, you know they begin this very uh, difficult process of treating the injured? Uh, and you know, from a, a personal perspective, I would imagine, as you were noting, this has been incredibly uh, stressful for them as well. Never imagining that even though they might train for these situations, they would actually actually have to take part in caring for victims of a mass shooting. Uh, indeed, it is an unusual situation, was unusual and difficult here. At the same time, they stressed, you know, uh, we are prepared for a mass casualty event here at all times. Being the only uh, level one trauma center in the region, 
they always have to be prepared for mass casualty events. Uh, they said that training did kick in with these patients arriving here. Of course, patients went to other hospitals as well. Uh, there was a triage area set up here uh, for some hours afterwards. That was eventually taken, taken down. But the tension does remain here. There, there may still be at least one suspect uh, on the loose, and uh, they've seen that the, the, uh, the havoc that that can cause in this, uh, in this very neighborhood. Uh, the, the shooting happened, the initial shooting happened, uh, just five miles away from here, less than five miles away from here. All right, John Blackstone at Loma Linda University Medical Center with an update on the conditions of the five people being treated there. John, thank you so much for that.